like the video. Uh, that's supposed to go at the end. Damn, scuffed the intro already. All right, so with season three, Call of Duty released the Moors Sniper. I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown on it. I know we've been using the Stalker for a minute now, and it doesn't really seem like we have many options besides that and the cat. So this is gonna be hopefully a refresh on the Sniper class because they definitely haven't shown Sniper's love since the Stalker, uh, which is way more than obviously Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2, so can't complain on that, I guess. Um, also, they're gonna release the Car 98 apparently, but. Uh, I'm going to give you guys the build. There's two different ways you can build this gun. Um, the first is the photonic charge barrel. Wait, before I go any further, I want to mention the best thing about this sniper rifle is actually the fact that you never have to reload. There's no magazine. All you do have to, all you have to keep doing is obviously recharging. It's a bolt action. Recharging the rifle after each shot, but you never have to put another magazine in or put another drum or anything like that. That is by far the best thing about this sniper. Not to mention the ADS is a lot quicker than the Stalker at, at, with any build whatsoever. So fast ADS, you never have to reload. Bullet velocity is lacking compared to the other two, the Cat and the XRK Stalker, but never having to reload, man, it is a gimme mores. Now that build is gonna look something like this. So you have the photonic charge barrel, you got the Razorhawk laser, the super light stock, quick bolt, and the grip. Now, the only three things that are going to change on this build, on this weapon, is the barrel, the ammunition, and the rear grip. Okay, so if you don't want the rear grip, that helps with the ADS a little bit by 6%. Uh, you can put the anti-material rounds on. That gives you a lot more damage. Now, I did notice with this thing you get, uh, I mean, a lot of hit markers. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's as consistent um, as the Stalker. The Stalker seems to put out way more damage. Um, also, the weird thing with this photonic charge barrel is you actually have to charge it up. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So you guys, you can hear it in these clips that you can hear like the charge up and then when I let off my mouse or trigger button and then it fires, but I mean, it's like, you know, it's instantaneous. The bullet, I mean, there's like no bullet travel whatsoever. So, you know, during fights, it's hard to remember to actually do that. But if you can learn that skill um, while also focusing your scope, I think, you know, that can be I can raise the skill gap. I mean, it's got a high skill gap, but that could definitely be um, a, 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 a game changer. So the other build is actually the heavy barrel, and you can either use the anti-material rounds, um, but that takes a hit on your bullet velocity, which if you're used to using the Stalker, especially the build in some of my previous videos, the, the bullet velocity is like 1300 1200 meters a second so that makes it a lot easier to shoot players out of the sky now 800 that's tough that's tough now i'd be good for rebirth because it's a smaller map but so i have been cycling between this and switching out the grip for that ammunition i don't i'm not a personal fan of the, the charge barrel i, I kind of like using the heavy barrel um that gives you the uh thousand meters per second anything over a thousand meters a second on a sniper that's what you want um i want you guys to check out the rest of the gameplay for this build here and let me know what you think all right catch you in the next one